Wes is back to work and I'm just on the sofa, kind of just waiting out the storm. Storm Franklin, which is the third named storm we've had this week. And there's some big trees right across from us. I don't think they would hit us if they fell, or at least it would only be the end of the tree. Not always sunshines and sunsets. Sometimes you are too scared to sleep at night because a tree might fall on your boat. chips <laughs> the storm all, is picking up as well it's an all new boat time low but no we're starving we haven't eaten and there's literally no food in the house whatsoever let's go we've just got to be quick yeah first thing is first fire is on it's just warming up now but look at it go because of the wind and a mountain of chips listen we're hungry <laughs> Don't judge us. Yeah. I've been trying to warm the boat up as much as possible, so I've put loads of coal on. And I don't know if you can see, but between those two white lines, that's where it should be. And it's way too hot at the moment. Oh. I think as well, because it's so windy, loads of air is coming in as well and making it way hotter. We often get asked, how do you get the boat warm? The answer is pretty easily. <laughs> Just throw way too much coal on. No, don't. You know how, like, we've had the odd comment and we've thought it ourselves, like, oh, at some point we might feel like we know everything and then will it still be as much of an adventure? I don't, I don't think that's a risk. Oh my, quarter past midnight. I was just scrolling through Facebook and we're in a narrowboat owner's Facebook page and somebody asked a question and was like, how many revs should I be putting on to charge my engine? For nine months, we've been charging our engine wrong and for the cherry on top, we've been turning the key wrong as well. So we were watching Cruising Alba and we noticed that Marina turned the key to heat before turning the engine. And we've just looked up in the like beta marine, our engine manual and it says in colder temperatures, turn that on for a bit, then start your engine. We haven't been doing that. How do we still not know anything? I thought we were good. I thought we were getting the hang of it. And now it's just like, we're turning our engine on wrong. So, the battery, the voltage is currently at 12.3, so it's time to charge. So we're gonna test the theory after all. Is that right? <laughs> so it's currently 14.2, so I'm gonna try and put it in tick over. So that's what this button's for. Easy. There isn't a tick over like latch. The near in 1500 revs. It's at 14.3. Doesn't make that much difference. It really doesn't, does it? Let me just put it back down. 14.3. I don't get it. Why is nothing ever simple? Why isn't it just as simple as just turning it on? Why is it never obvious even if it is simple? Trying the old revs again. It made no difference. So we have been doing it right the whole time then. I don't get it. I don't get it. The engine's been on at about 1200 RPM for about 20 minutes now. <laughs> We're freaking out because it feels wrong and it feels weird. We're going to turn it off now. Just see what things look like. It still says 14.2 though, so I think it's still full charging, which means the batteries aren't full. Electrics are so confusing. I hate them.
I hate batteries. I hate it. Rufus, come here. Look who's back, everyone. Have you missed us? No. He hasn't missed us at all, have you? He absolutely loves it at my mum's. He loves my mum way more than us. Don't you, Rufus? And of course, Doops is back. Hey, Poops. I'm going to put him back in his house in a sack after some cuddles. He's back. And we've also got some blinds at last. We ordered them online to Amy's mum's house. Finally got them so we can have privacy again. They look really big though, much bigger than I was expecting. We got them from Blinds to Go because you can get custom sizes. Yeah, that's about right, isn't it? I think so. We measured it and we were worried it wasn't going to fit. Seems all right. I hope they're long enough as well. We're not going to fit them right now because we're tired, but it's very excited to finally have blinds. How long have we not had blinds, Wes? It would have been, I think, about halfway through June. We've just been using scarves on most of the windows and hooking them up. We've had curtains on maybe one or two of the windows. So we're so excited to finally have blinds on all of the windows. <laughs> no messing about. Straight onto his favourite spot. Not have even been here 10 minutes. You going glad to be back exploring. doing some midweek jobs, emptying the toilets and filling up a couple of water bottles of water just to keep the roofs is having a sniff. Just to keep the water topped up because we've been in that spot a little longer than the sign says we're allowed. However, because there's been so many storms and there's another storm tomorrow, because it's such a secure spot we don't want to risk moving. So we're hoping it's okay if we stay there while the storms pass. I mean, there's no one else around. I'm sure it's absolutely fine. And we were away, so we're emptying the toilets from before then. These little poo boxes seem <laughs> see some right adventures, don't they? Easy. to go and do our first proper shop since we left. The fridge is completely empty. This weekend we've got another busy week. We're gonna fill up the water now while I'm on my work lunch break and then come back here. I'm gonna try and get that done now and then we don't have to do it straight after work when it's getting dark. See ya. That's not safe, surely. quite cold but it's really sunny and the weather's been quite calm and literally the wind's just started. Where's just finished work and the blinds are here so we're gonna try and put them up. I've got to take these off first. Oh and, no. <laughs> but I'm hoping the blinds cover up. <laughs> oh I forgot that that would be a thing. I'm not painting waiting for it to dry and then putting the yeah, blinds Yeah that's up. what I mean. I think the blinds will cover it so we won't need to. Can we just get like a pen. A white pen. <laughs> Tipex. <laughs> yeah, Tipex do the job. We're feeling really lazy and we can't be bothered to take the mattress off and get all the planks up. So Amy's gonna lift 
and I'm going to try and just squeeze in. We reckon board number four is the optimum one to lift. Wes, this is ridiculous. It's hurting me. Can you see any mould? I can't see much. Don't knock the water thing either. Oh, I didn't, but purely uh, by chance. Was my job. I'm playing. I was literally doing them before. Get off. Anyway, we're gonna run out of battery. That doesn't look great. I don't like it. Luckily, previous Oz wrote exactly what measurements for each window is, so I'm hoping the blinds are labelled with the measurements. Important looking things. Yes, so the blinds are measurements. So width 595640. 595640. So this one is the hallway one. I forgot that the bits on the window stick out. I really hope that's not going to be really annoying and that those are light in. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Let's go for it and hope. Ah, oh, wait. Oh, I see. What? So it's very far apart. See the big reveal then? So, just imagine it sticks to the wall. We'll figure it out with magnets. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. And I can live my sailing fantasy every morning. <laughs> live your what? Sailing fantasy. <laughs> what? Pretend you're mo hoisting up the sail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so angry. <laughs> We've probably... <laughs> Just... Just do it. Just show them. We've paid... These are custom blinds. So we've paid for the length and the width and everything. It, you put how much you need in it and it calculates the price based on it. And we thought they were quite expensive, but we just thought that's how much blinds were. Go on, Wes. I'm so angry. Surely we're done. There's more. Surely. <laughs> Still going. We've literally paid for like double the knee. I wonder how much it would cost. Probably half the half the price. Every single one of them is that long compared. Is it just like a standard thing though? Surely they're not gonna send out that much extra blind with every order. There is a very small silver lining though. Mainly Amy, but I do agree that this sticks out quite a lot. And the problem is, is that because you have it sticking out here, it almost makes the roof feel lower. So if we put the blinds all the way up here, but then never roll them up further than that. Like I've seen this picture for inspiration and it just blends in a lot more on the ceiling, I think. Like I think if you have the roller bit high up, it just blends in a lot more. So we're gonna try and do that. This is the, uh, the current status of the wall. <laughs> the good thing is though, so if we mount them up here, we can roll them up all the way and paint up this new abomination. Oh, that's way better. Yeah, that makes a huge difference. That feels so much better. It doesn't feel as bulky. It blends in with the ceiling, especially when the ceiling is going to be white, I think. And luckily, we can still roll it all the way down to the floor. <laughs> oh my God. I'm happy now. Whatever you do though, don't roll it higher than this, because then you'll see. <laughs> now we're painting that soon. So we've done one. Uh, we've still got about five more to do. But Amy's. I hate DIY. <laughs> I'm so bored. Wes wants to do every single one tonight. <laughs> I just wanted to put one up to test them out. No, you wanted to put them all up until you realised that you had to help and then you only wanted to put one up. Uh, 
Yeah. There we go. Bedroom one is up. I like that so much better. Yeah. Know. The height was such a good shout. As much as I really want to do the rest. Drill's running out of battery. So it'll have to be a tomorrow job. So now that old curtain rail's gone, that plant on the macrame needs somewhere else to go. I'm gonna put a little hook in here. I think there's a lot of wires under there and I'm scared. I might just do it anyway. That doesn't sound great. I just stop there. Should be able to hold this. Ah, oh, it's at such a funny angle. <laughs> that seems to hold all right. It's better than it was. Let me just ignore the fact that it's not straight. Job done. It's getting on a bit now, but we've found the super glue. So we might try and glue the magnets on to the blinds now. At least on one of them, just to test if it works. What's going on? You reckon it's dry? Hasn't been very long. Is it in? Shot number two. If you super glue the blinds to the wall, I'm going to be so upset. Yeah, that'll do. Oh. What was that? I don't know. You're not going to check? Been a yeah. while. Been about 15 minutes. Oh, just gonna close the blind. Up a bit. Nice. Well, Amy, I sure wish there was a way of having slightly more privacy. Well. Don't you? <laughs> Good morning. Hello, good morning. I'll just open, take the annoying scarf off. Ta-da! <laughs> Where are we going? morning it is saturday i'm just taking rufus out so that's why i'm wearing uh, my dog walking attire but we are going into sheffield which is very exciting because that's where we lived before we moved on to the boat we're getting the train i've got a hairdresser appointment which i'm quite excited for um my nice spring appointment and Wes is sorting his nose piercing out and yeah just have a day out in sheffield so we thought we'd bring you along and show you the sights of sheffield Come on then! Little year seven backpack, turn around. That's a nice one. It's because I'm taking my laptop because Amy's hair is going to take ages. So I'm going to try and overcome all social anxiety and sit in a coffee shop on my own on a laptop. And I don't know, do some editing or something. That means I have to take my little backpack. <laughs> it's not nothing little about it. <laughs> Some of the trains are arriving. <laughs> Why is it so small? The train is so busy. Sheffield. 
it's really windy and it feels a lot colder. It's so weird being back here. This is where I lived for six years. I lived here for 10 years. 10 years. We lived in the city centre for most of that. So it's so nice being back in the city centre and seeing everything that we haven't seen for like a year. It's amazing. We've loved it. gonna do my makeup on the train it was too busy so luckily we got here early so I can do, do it in the winter gardens just dropped Amy off for the hairdressers she's gonna be about four hours it takes so long to get a hair done so I'm heading over to Pearson shop so I can get my nose changed from ages ago finally to a ring and then I'm going to try and find a coffee shop and brought my laptop and just sit down get some medicine done and just wait I did it it hurt loads <laughs> but I did it Oh, I can't recommend that art highly enough. The only people I trust for piercing was Sophie in Sheffield. Definitely go there. I've got a nice quiet table in the corner of the Starbucks. It's 240 volt. I'll plug my laptop in and I'm gonna just chill here for a bit. A little hot chunk to keep me going. To recuperate a bit of energy because a little bit faint after having the jewelry swap because it hurt. I've been in Starbucks for about two hours now. Amy's just texted me saying she thinks she's nearly done. She's forgotten to bring any method of paying, so I've got to go back anyway. Do you like it? It's beautiful. It's so cool. It's really nice. <laughs> Look how good it looks. You like it? I think so. I really like it. We've got hair done, nose done. What now? The new Amy and Wes. <laughs> I mean, yours is somewhat more dramatic than mine. I think we're going to go get some sushi. Yeah. And then head back to the train station so the pets don't want to leave the pets too long. Yeah. We're going back to our old favourite pre boat days. Sushi acquired. We think we're going to take it home and get cosy. Wesley has managed to spill the sushi down himself before we've even opened it. And also, when I was at Starbucks, I got myself a cheese toasty. And I somehow got a cheese stain as well. Oh my! <laughs> On his brand nice. new jumper! Never worn it before. We will shortly be arriving at Langley Mill. <laughs> we were just walking back from the train station and we walked past the chip shop that we really liked. And I jokingly went, oh, should we get some chips to have with our sushi? 
And then we both just giggled and ran and bought chips. <laughs> Thank you to all those who buy us chips and uh, give us the chips each week. Sometimes it goes on yummy chips like this, but sometimes we put it towards saving up for a camera or diesel or coal. So it really helps out each week. Thank you so much. Come on, the roof first, you wanna go on a walk? Careful. Sit. 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 Wait. We're going on the field. <laughs> We're back home now. Wes is just letting Rufus out, taking him out to the toilet. Dupes is fine. And we've got a full battery because the solar's been charging all day. So that's brilliant. The bars are full. I really, we really need a battery on it, don't we? <laughs> We've done it again. Huh? I think this is an okay amount of food. Tempura, inori tacos, cucumber rolls, yasa gyoza, chips, <laughs> spring rolls, and pumpkin karaoke. You know, they really don't even have to do anything. They pretty much just throw Thank you so much for watching and for hanging in with us while we are stuck behind this lock closure. We can't wait to get back on the move and get back to our cruising content. Thanks for watching and see you next week!